Objective 7. Describe the balanced scorecard concept and explain the reasoning behind it. In the administration of nearly every organization, managers must not only focus on financial progress, but on non-financial performance as well. The balanced scorecard depicts an illustration of four key areas that play a substantial role in these two types of performance measures. The balanced scorecard integrates performance measures in four key areas, financial, internal business process, customer and learning, and growth. Financial is profit, cash flow, revenue growth, and gross margin by cost, customer segment. Customer deals with average revenue per customer, customer satisfaction, market shares, and customer complaints. Internal business process deals with the cost of held inventories and number of common parts. Learning and growth includes new processes, employee suggestions, and retention. Lead and lag indicators are critical in understanding the value of balanced scorecards. Lead indicators of performance are measures of non-financial and financial outcomes that guide management in making current decisions that will allow for desirable results in the future. Lag indicators are measures of the financial outcomes of earlier management decisions. Examples are a company's profit and cash flow. If lead indicators communicate with, motivate, and evaluate individuals to result in improvement in the company's lag measures, i.e. profitability, then the goal of a balanced scorecard is met. There is a correlation between lead and lag indicators that can be seen using a cause and effect relationship. Using a lead indicator, like adding training hours, which is learning growth, leads to an increase of customer service, which is internal business process. This leads to irregular customers, which is customer, which in the end leads to the goal of profitability, which is financial. Created using Powtoon.